Hello everyone, so I've managed to successfully establish a connection to the CAN bus on the car so I want to say a huge thank you to a guy on YouTube called Damien Maguire uh, he has a very excellent channel full of lots of resources uh, concerning hacking electric vehicle parts so you can use them in your own projects so this seems to be a piece of hardware that he's designed himself um, I think he uses it for other stuff as well but um, currently it seems to be programmed as some sort of USB to CAN bus adapter and I've, uh, I've had to modify it slightly uh, just by putting a uh, wire connector on there and then soldering a USB cable onto it because I didn't have a USB cable that's that size so uh, you need a software called Savvy Can. So what you have to do is, um, to use this piece of hardware, uh, you need to install all the Arduino drivers and everything. It's like it's basically some sort of Arduino due, but um, I think there's you could use other USB to CAN bus adapters as well, but don't use the really cheap ones because I tried that and I just got nowhere with it. Um, I just gave no data whatsoever. Um, so we've got connection, open connection window, um, add new device connection. So it's a serial connection and then whatever COM port the device is on, you go create new connection. Um, and then it usually takes a, a few seconds until it says connected. Um, there we go. Speed has to be um, 500,000 I'm sure so we'll select um, 500,000 then save bus settings so a little bit more about the connection itself uh, there are several places on the car you can access the PT CAN bus but uh, the one I've found that's the best is just in the back here so PT CAN H on this connector there's a blue and black wire and PT CAN L as the yellow wire on this connection. Uh, but I'll try and uh, show diagrams and everything as well as uh, a good overview of Damien's channel uh, later in this video. So um, it's all ready to capture. I just need to click on restart capturing and it'll capture in all the data. So he's just requested that I um, open and close the charge port, lock and unlock the car a few times. Um, so, right, so we'll go to restart caption. You can see just all the stuff coming in. So, shut the car. Make sure maybe the windows are up and everything. So the connection is made here. There's many other places on the car you can do it, but I find this to be the easiest. So PT can L is a yellow wire on this connector and PT can H as the black and blue wire. So this is all set up and ready to go. Um, all I just need to do is click on restart capturing. So, um, I'll just do that just now. He's wanting a log of the car being locked and unlocked as well as the charging port to being opened and closed. So I'll just go to restart capturing and you can see all the data coming in. So I'll just lock the car and unlock it. So there we go. Then open it. There's a bit of a problem with my charge port, unfortunately. So unfortunately, it's kind of jammed sometimes, but that shouldn't affect the logging. Right. So that should hopefully be what he's wanting. Right. So there we go. Um, that's a capture done. And there's a load of stuff in there that I do not understand. So all I need to do is just go to file and then just save the log file. So this here is Damien McGuire's YouTube channel and it's an excellent resource for 
hacking all sorts of electric vehicle parts so that you can use them in your project and I think he also developed the open inverter project so that um, it's, it's sort of like a board that you can put into various inverters from different cars and make them easy to use uh, for your projects so he's converted Range Rovers, BMWs uh, and other stuff as well so um, a very very valuable resource for anyone who's interested in electric vehicle projects okay so this is the savvy can program and you can just load a log file and it will come up like this and then what you could do is go into your your tools so uh, there's, there's so many here so there's flow view which kind of graphs what's been going on so the log that I'm looking at just now is just me plugging in the car and charging it after a short while and I think the log file only runs over like not even a minute so if I just play this you, you could see various things going on so uh, after a few seconds a little red line should show up and that could represent the charging current I don't know uh, but as you can see there's so much here to look through uh, it's a massive amount of data and sadly it's a bit beyond uh, what I'm capable of sorting through at the moment but what you can do I think is filter out various things that you're not needing and can connect up whatever piece of hardware you're trying to hack to your CAN bus adapter and play back the data to it and try and make it work on its own um, and that's something I may try in the future.